three minutes. Get out of the car. Some lad goes, are, are you Forfy? It's already started. Look at his face. <laughs> what can I say? The double champ does what the fuck he wants. <laughs> Welcome to another Breaking the Mall special at Leeds Fest. We've been here what two days now. Is and it two uh, days? Yeah, two days. We've been here yesterday. Yeah. So I've just two, I've, four got, days. I've got a real job, so I've just arrived. I've not. I, I've not been here two days. I've gone home and slept at home because I'm a big. Scott's cozy. a part timer. Did you? Yeah. I'm yeah, a part timer. Yeah. Scott's a part timer. Because I've got a full time job. So he's just arrived. Um, and yeah, we've we've seen KSI, Cole, KSI, Cole, 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 Cole was sick. Uh, what else did we see earlier? Bad boy chiller crew, bad boy chiller crew, oh, yeah. chiller crew. Oh, they, um, in, in uh, dance tent, yeah, dance tent. Did you all yeah, dance? Yeah, yeah, well, man, I, yeah, I, I, it yeah. Will, it will boot, you know. I can't imagine you dancing. Big style, mate. Boot I hope he gets you dancing this boot weekend. Pop it in, <laughs> it will boot. <laughs> It were, uh, it were pretty sick, and then they, had, they were doing another surprise set as well at half four, but yeah, we missed that one, yeah, we took a rain check on that. And then Tom Grennan were on when we were coming out. Yeah. Um, I like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I missed all good ones, I know. Yeah, yeah. There's no one that, I might as well go on. Might as well go on, pal. And then we're no, obviously Liam Gallagher we're, tonight. We're at a nice area. Oh, I know you're watching. Liam Gallagher. Gallagher. He, he, did a, he did a sound check earlier on, he woke me up. Did he? W woke me up with sound check. No, we did yeah, yeah. No, obviously it wasn't him, but oh. they were doing sound check for him, all they were playing all his songs and stuff. Sunshine. Yeah, we're in, we're in a nice area. You've just seen a couple of celebrities. I've just, I've just seen a celebrity that we've just we've been interviewed with on the last episode. Oh, yeah. Saying that this won't be the last episode, but we've done like two or three since then. No, it, so, we did it though. Yeah. At the, uh, just while we're here, thanks for everyone's support. Um, we get you. I've had messages of yeah, like, people saying, uh, you know, oh, well done and stuff. Positivity is um, positivity is good. My son Junior, he always says positivity. <laughs> Can you do Tyson Fury? No. You know. I need I'll to learn that one. I'll have to learn it, mate. But yeah, like oh, Scott yeah. says, thanks Which for the voice? support. Which voice? Gruff voice or normal voice? Anthony Joshua! He's I'll a voice! He's a bum! <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, looking forward to this weekend. Yeah, it's going to be a good one. Obviously a really nice day. Um, had a bit of a wander around yesterday. Found where the press tent was. Made some really good contacts. Um, some magazines and and, and um, some people that, that sort of do PR for some of the bands. Um, we've listened to all different music so far. We've had Liam Gallagher. We've had Bad Boy Chiller Crew. We've had all sorts. And hopefully we'll get some interviews today. And um, there's another guest area as well, which is on the other side of the campsite, uh, which is where everybody kind of gets together and. and um, 
and all the bands are sorted and things like that. So we're going to get in there later on and, and hopefully do some good interviews. Are there any songs that were released 
in lockdown that you, you're playing live for the first time? We haven't released anything. The album's nearly <laughs> next year's going to be two years old. <laughs> but we have new stuff in the making, and we're very, very, very excited. So we haven't said what it is yet, but just stay tuned. Thank you, boys. We've just had um, we've just had Demo happy with us, um, very supportive of the cause of the Mental Health Podcast, asking us questions and basically trying to interview us. Um, saying it's a massive cause and it's great and, and you know just so we're looking forward to seeing them later on performing and stuff but yeah absolutely top guys and uh, hopefully they'll see this and hopefully they'll uh, put it on the page thank you <laughs> he's the main guy you right? how are you man right. you don't want my voice nice man. to meet you nice to meet you dude you're alright um, so we're a mental health podcast um, one of my friends sadly committed suicide at the start of the year um, in 2018 I had a lot of mental health struggles and I had a breakdown um, I thought you know we need to raise awareness more awareness and for us getting our message across and showing people that you can come back from it and you can sort of live a life of happiness again. Yeah. How was, obviously with coronavirus sweeping the globe and, and obviously slowing everything down and everything grinding to a halt, how has that affected you guys with your music and sort of what from then to where you are now? I mean, it's definitely like changed some of the ways we approach like lyrical writing. Like it's, it's definitely felt like sometimes when, you, when you're writing lyrics, like I just like to write about things that make me feel passionate, you know, and, and th that definitely means that some, some of the songs we've come out with lately have been a product of how I felt during that period, and you definitely look for some kind of release, and normally you get that from live shows, but you have to, in during the lockdown, we've had to really like find time to, 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 make, to make that happen and get that same kind of like cathartic, you know, a problem shared is a problem heart, and yeah, so. so it, 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 People that are going to watch this interview are going to be listening to you guys, somebody that's obviously doing really well for yourselves. Somebody that is battling demons and, and somebody that feels like they don't have anybody to speak to. You know, what would your message be to them? Like, you know, have you got a message to say, keep going, speak about it, or what would you, how did you sort of cope with any mental health struggles? And, 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 and... First thing I would say, no, no, mind, no. My, my thing is to talk, talk to people. Like, it is honestly, I, th I think that, that conversation is sometimes the best medicine in the world. Like, I'm a, I'm a real person that I feel like, I feel like weights are lifted off my shoulders when I can like share it with other people. And, and sometimes, you know, you know, we'll chat about something and I'll have been thinking about it or you'll have been thinking about it. And as soon as it becomes a conversation, you're like, oh my God, you're thinking yeah, the same thing. Yeah. And then it feels, it feels so much easier when you, yeah. when you know that other people are thinking some of the things. So, yeah, talk, get talking. That's it, isn't it? And when, I've, when we've done episodes before, we've done it with comedians, we've done DJs, we've done, you know, a, a wide range of people and, and sort of covered a lot. And everybody's got the same message, but when I went through my struggles, it was, I don't know why I feel this way. And it wasn't that I knew I felt differently. It was, that would kind of then my train of thought. Yeah. And then a lot of people I've spoken to go, yeah, but the doctors will just look like, kind of brush it off and it's like, no, they yeah. won't. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. and I'm sure you lads have sort of been there in terms of, you know, I've been able to talk to each other and having that support network and like you say, talking and talking and talking does, does bring better days, doesn't it? it? It's, it's, really no, it's knowing that the thoughts that you're having aren't unique to you. Yeah, of course. Yeah, because yeah. you assume that you're the odd one out or you're the alien in this, this yeah, yeah. community or the, 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 the system makes you feel that way. When actually, as soon as you air it and as soon as you voice it, you realise that the majority of people are in the same boat. And the older you get, I think the more you, you, you do realise that. Yeah, yeah no. for sure. Anything coming up, boys, that you want to give a little sneak peek of, or, or what's next? So have you got any shows coming up? You know, have you... Yeah. Well, we just put out just put out a single called My Future, which, interestingly enough, is you know is about a lot of like you know, kind of internal demons and stuff yeah, yeah, yeah. dealing with that thing. So we just put out a single called My Future, and then we're back on tour in November, only UK at the moment. Um, yeah, and there's a lot more music to come. Can't say anything yet, but we shall see. Well, thank you so much, guys. Thank Lovely. you, guys. Thanks, guys. Nice to meet you. Quick picture as well, yeah. We've just interviewed lots of different bands. Um, obviously, they've now got a good life through music, through through performing, through doing festivals like this, and, and loads of people coming to see them. What people don't think about is the uh, you know policing teams, the medics, the fire service. So we're now going to have a chat with Lucy from the medics team, hopefully get her perspective on sort of mental health and things like that, and kind of see how mental health affected her and her team. Um, and then yeah, keep your eyes peeled for that.
just been on an interview with Demo Pappy, Nova the Twins and Chapter and Verse. Um, lots of good content, lots of things I've said, lots of discussions that we've had with them about music and about sort of mental health and things like that. Keep your eyes peeled and we're going to go enjoy the rest of the festival. Take care of yourselves. Don't 